The May 1958 crisis was a political crisis in France during the turmoil of the Algerian War of Independence which led to the return of Charles de Gaulle to political responsibilities after a 12-year absence. It started as a coup attempt led at Algiers on May 13, 1958 by a coalition headed by Algiers Deputy and Reserve Airborne Officer Pierre Lagellard, French Generals Raoul Salan, Edmond Jehord, Jean Grasseur, and Jacques Massou, and by Admiral Philippe Boigneau, commander of the Mediterranean Fleet. The putsch was supported by former Algerian Governor General Jacques Sestel and his activist allies. Carried out in the context of the Algerian War, the putsch had as its aim to oppose the new formation of Pierre Flimlin's government and to impose a change of policies in favor of the right-wing partisans of French Algeria. The crisis marked the return of Charles de Gaulle to political affairs after a decade of absence, and set in motion the events which would lead to the establishment of the Fifth Republic. Context: Recurrent cabinet crises focused attention on the inherent instability of the Fourth Republic and increased the misgivings of the army and of the colonists that the security of Algeria was being undermined by party politics. Army commanders chafed at what they took to be inadequate and incompetent government support of military efforts to end the rebellion. The feeling was widespread that another debacle like that of Indochina in 1954 was in the offing and that the government would order another precipitate pullout and sacrifice French honor to political expediency. The result was the return of Charles de Gaulle. The coup, after his tour as governor general, Jacques Sestel had returned to France to organize support for de Gaulle's return to power, while retaining close ties to the army and the settlers. By early 1958, he had organized a coup d'état copyright tat, bringing together dissident army officers and colonial officials with sympathetic Gaullists. An army junta under General Jacques Massou seized power in Algiers on the night of May 13. General Salan assumed leadership of a committee of public safety formed to replace the civil authority and press the junta's demands that de Gaulle be named by French President Rena Copyright Conti to head a government of national union invested with extraordinary powers to prevent the abandonment of Algeria. Salan announced on radio that the army had a Euro OE provisionally taken over responsibility for the destiny of French Algeria Euro. Under the pressure of Massou, Salan declared Vive de Gaulle. From the balcony of the Algiers Government General Building on May 15. De Gaulle answered two days later that he was ready to a Euro OE assume the powers of the Republic a Euro. Many worried as they saw this answer as support for the army. At a May 19 press conference, De Gaulle asserted again that he was at the disposal of the country. As a journalist expressed the concerns of some who feared that he would violate civil liberties, De Gaulle retorted vehemently. Have I ever done that? Quite the opposite, I have re established them when they had disappeared. Who honestly believes that, at age 67, I would start a career as a dictator? On May 24, French paratroopers from the Algerian Corps landed on Corsica by aircraft, taking the French island in a bloodless action called OPA Copyright Ration Course. Subsequently, preparations were made in Algeria for Operation Resurrection which had as objectives the seizure of Paris and the removal of the French government, through the use of paratroopers and armoured forces based at Rambillet. Operation Resurrection was to be implemented if one of three scenarios occurred, if de Gaulle was not approved as leader of France by Parliament, if de Gaulle asked for military assistance to take power, or if it seemed that communist forces were making any move to take power in France. Political leaders on many sides agreed to support the general's return to power with the notable exceptions of Frenet Section Wa Mitteron, who was a minister in Guy Mollet's socialist government, Pierre Mendes France, Alain Savary, and the Communist Party. The philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre, the existentialist author and a noted atheist, was quoted as saying a Euro OE I would rather vote for God a Euro Mendes France and Savary, opposed to their respective parties' support of de Gaulle would form together, in 1960, the Parti Socialist Autonome, ancestor of the Parti Socialist Unifia copyright. De Gaulle's return to power, on May 29 the French president, Rena Copyright Cotty, appealed to the A Euro a most illustrious of French Mu Euro to become the last president of the Council of the Fourth Republic a Euro 15 hours before the projected launch of resurrection. 
de Gaulle had accepted Conti's proposal under the precondition that a new constitution would be introduced creating a powerful presidency in which a sole executive, the first of which was to be himself, ruled for seven-year periods. Another condition was that he be granted extraordinary powers for a period of six months. His newly formed cabinet was approved by the National Assembly on June 1, 1958, by 329 votes against 224, while he was granted the power to govern by ordinances for a six-month period as well as the task to draft a new constitution. The May 1958 crisis indicated that the Fourth Republic by 1958 no longer had any support from the French army in Algeria, and was at its mercy even in civilian political matters. This decisive shift in the balance of power and civil-military relations in France in 1958 and the threat of force was the main immediate factor in the return of de Gaulle to power in France. The New Constitution De Gaulle blamed the institutions of the Fourth Republic for France's political weakness a euro gaullist reading still popular today. As he commissioned the new constitution and was responsible for its overall framework, de Gaulle is sometimes described as the author of the constitution, although it was effectively drafted during the summer of 1958 by the gaullist Michel Debra copyright. The draft tightly espoused the 1946 speech of Bailly's propositions, leading to a strong executive and to a rather presidential regime a Euro the president being granted the responsibility of governing the Council of Ministers, as well as to the adoption of Article 16, granting extraordinary powers to the president if a state of emergency was proclaimed, and of bicameralism. Although most politicians supported de Gaulle, from a section wa on, who opposed the new constitution, famously denounced a permanent coup d'état copyright chat in 1964. On September 28, 1958, a referendum took place and 79.2% of those who voted supported the new constitution and the creation of the Fifth Republic. The colonies were given the choice between immediate independence and the new constitution. All colonies voted for the new constitution and the replacement of the French Union by the French community, except Guinea, which thus became the first French African colony to gain independence at the cost of the immediate cessation of all French assistance. De Gaulle was elected president of the French Republic and of the African and Malagasy community on December 21, 1958 by indirect suffrage. He was invested on January 8, 1959. In the meanwhile, de Gaulle had met the German Chancellor Konrad Adenauer on September 14, 1958 had sent a memorandum to U.S. President Dwight D. Eisenhower on September 17, 1958, recalling his will of national independence. He also took financial measures on December 27, 1958 to reduce the state deficit, and, in Algeria, called for the peace of the brave in October 1958. See also, Algiers Putsch of 1961, May 16, 1877 Crisis. Notes Further reading, Alexander, Martin S. and John F. E. Keeger, eds. France and the Algerian War, 1954-1962, Strategy, Operations and Diplomacy, Fenby, Jonathan. The General, Charles de Gaulle and the France he saved, Jackson, Julian. De Gaulle pages 70-79, Sirwin, Charles. France since 1870, Culture. Society and the Making of the Republic CH21